Am I biting edge to edge or do I have a crossbite? What even is a crossbite? Hi, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist here to talk about the difference between edge to edge biting, normal biting, and a crossbite. So lots of people think that an edge to edge bite is normal. However, it's not. What you actually want is a slight overbite, not a full out overbite. I do have a video all about the negative effects of an actual overbite, but you do want your teeth to slightly overlap. That is the healthiest. This is because each of your teeth has a sharp edge or a cusp on the chewing surface. Ideally, you don't want these edges to meet when you're biting down because you can end up wearing right through your teeth. And then finding you need crowns in the future because of the fractured teeth and broken dental work. Enamel is the hardest thing in the human body, but it's not invincible when it's wearing against itself. In addition, there might even be sharp edges where the enamel has worn itself down, or it can develop into small chips and small cracks. You'll probably see a darker yellow color on those surfaces because there is no white enamel left to cover them. Also, those with an edge to edge bite routinely experience TMJ disorder symptoms and headaches. Now, a cross bite is when the teeth on the opposing arches, the upper and lower, don't line up properly. Another way teeth aren't lining up properly. Edge to edge is not a proper alignment and a crossbite is not a proper alignment. Typically with a crossbite, however, you'll see the upper teeth tilted slightly inward and the lower teeth tilted slightly outward. There are two types of crossbites, anterior crossbites, where one of the front teeth overlap in an irregular manner. And it's different from an overbite or an underbite in that it has more to do with the biting relationship of the teeth than it does the jaw anatomy. And posterior crossbites, which involve the back teeth, molars and premolars. Usually it's when the upper molar is tilted inward and hits the middle of the lower molar. Technically, upper molars should always slightly overlap the lower ones. Crossbites can cause you to bite your tongue or cheek frequently. It can also give you an atypical facial profile, difficulty biting or chewing on one side of your mouth, and also tooth enamel wear or dental problems in general. Bottom line, when teeth don't meet together properly, it can have an overall impact on both those specific teeth as well as the function of your overall mouth. So with cross bites, similar to edge to edge bites, you'll start to see the tooth enamel wear out far quicker than it should. Then you'll have an increased risk of tooth decay and gum disease because both of these conditions are statistically more likely to occur around crooked or misaligned teeth, which is exactly what a cross bite is. And finally, cross bites can also cause added strain to the muscles and joints moving your teeth around, taking a toll on your TMJ, leading to chronic TMJ disorder. So whether you have an edge to edge bite, or a crossbite, my best advice is to schedule an appointment with your dentist or an orthodontist to talk more about correction options. Or talk with your dentist for them to refer you to a trusted orthodontist in your area. Chances are that your dentist will spot your edge to edge bite or crossbite before you do. Most dentists will perform at least some type of basic bite assessment during your routine checkup and cleaning appointments. And since teeth tend to shift over time, particularly as we get older or experience tooth loss, your dentist will wanna keep an eye on changes in your bite from one visit to the next. So if you have haven't seen a dentist lately or you're noticing some irregular wear or cheek biting, this is your sign to go ahead and plan a checkup. Because remember, anytime you have bite issues or teeth crowding, it can impact the chances of cavities and gum disease. Your bite is way more than just a cosmetic thing. It's a functional thing and a disease prevention thing. Lots of things. So I hope this video helped you. Please like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications if it did. If you want to learn more about biting patterns, I will link my underbite, overbite, and anterior bite videos in the description box. And if you want even more teeth, Talk, you can hang out with me on Instagram at Teeth Talk Girl. Peace, love, and teeth.